What's up y'all, today we're gonna show you how to properly tamp your espresso. In essence, proper tamping is really simple. There are two basic rules you need to follow, plus some technique that go along with those rules. Rule number one, your tamp needs to be level from start to finish. You want a consistent piston-like motion from the time your tamper touches the coffee to the time it's completely compacted at the bottom of the portafilter. You don't want any cheating, rolled it in sideways, but then flattened it out later. That doesn't count. You want it to be level from start to finish. Rule number two is that you want adequate pressure. Now, some people throw around numbers, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. The actual poundage doesn't matter so much is that you're consistent. What you wanna do is apply enough pressure where the coffee offers an even resistance to the water that's hitting it from above to make sure the water doesn't pit it out or channel it when it makes contact with that puck. The best way to gauge what adequate pressure is is to just take your tamper, put it on the counter, and push against the counter. Now you're gonna notice two things. One, the counter's not going anywhere. You can apply all the excess pressure you want, but that counter still isn't going to move. Two, it's gonna feel like the counter's pushing back against you. This is what you wanna feel for when you're tamping. As you compact the puck, it's gonna offer more and more resistance to you, and at some point, it's gonna feel just like when you pushed on that counter. It'll feel like it's pushing back at you a little bit, and although you could compact it more if you really wailed on it, you're not getting anything else extra out of it. If it feels like you're working too hard, you probably are. With those two rules out of the way, let's look at the mechanics of the situation. First thing, the grip. Hold the tamper much like you'd hold a doorknob if you were opening it. You don't want any T-Rex or claw grip going on. You want a nice neutral grip that provides a straight line of force from the piston through the handle all the way up through your forearm to your elbow. Now that we've got the grip dialed in, let's look at the positioning we want our body in when we tamp. So what you're gonna wanna do is get your hip up to the counter and throw your elbow up in the air. Now this feels really awkward for a lot of people at first, but what it does is it creates a straight line of force down from your elbow through the tamper and into the porta filter. And it makes sure that you don't have any bends or kinks in your wrist or put a lot of stress on small joints. Now if I drop my elbow low, I'm gonna be putting more stress on my wrist. And if I don't hip up to the counter and instead face the counter dead on, again, I've got kinks in my arm and I got a lot of pressure on my wrist. Now there can be small variations of this positioning on the counter. For example, I tend to lean the portafilter up a little bit, but the tamper and the portafilter are still perfectly perpendicular to each other at that 90 degree angle. This is just what's more comfortable for me. So if something's more comfortable for you, as long as you can maintain those angles and not have any weird bends in your arm or your joints, go for it. All right, let's tamp some coffee. So get your portafilter on the edge of the counter, get your hip up to the counter, grab the tamper in a nice neutral position, hold it just like a doorknob, hold your tamper above the ground coffee bed and let it hover there for just a second. Take a deep breath and recheck your angles. Remember, we want this tamp to be level from start to finish. Once you feel confident that you're perfectly lined up, slowly press into the coffee bed. If you're just learning this or adjusting your technique, take it slow, don't rush it. The faster you try to go, the sloppier it's gonna get. Some people will use their fingers to feel for the edge of the basket to see if their tamp is level. You can use this technique if it feels comfortable to you. The most important thing is that you're completely level from start to finish. Now the bed's gonna compact and compact and compact and at some point it's gonna feel just like the counter when we pressed on it earlier. Once you feel this feeling, you can stop pressing down. There's no need to apply any excess pressure. When you're at this point, you're done. You can remove the tamper from the portafilter and brew that shot. One thing that a lot of people do when they get to this stage is they twist the tamper or spin to polish the puck. We don't do this as this has more potential to damage that perfectly even puck that you've created and it doesn't offer any benefit. Oftentimes people will accidentally dig into one side of the coffee bed when they're polishing or when they spin, the tamper might bobble back and forth and all of these can harm your puck. Espresso is so finicky that we wanna remove any unnecessary steps that could lead to inconsistencies. If you finish your tamper and you're not sure if it's even and you wanna check it, a really good way is to leave the tamper in there, bring the portafilter and the tamper up to eye level and just give a look around it. From here, it'll be really easy to see if you're heavy on some parts and light in others and you can make that mental note and adjust next time. A couple notes on uneven tamping. If your tamp is grossly uneven and is really sideways, you can't fix it. You're gonna have to knock it out and start all over again. If you try to re-tamp it once the puck is already compact, you risk cracking that puck and creating a pinhole channel through that coffee. And while I do advocate a perfectly level tamp every time, there is a learning curve to this. So if you have a tamp that's just a little teeny tiny bit off, you can go ahead and brew that. And if you have some kind of pre-infusion set up on your machine, it should cover up any tiny discrepancies. Again, this isn't ideal, but in order to get really good at tamping, you just have to do it a lot and you can't feasibly throw out every shot 
out. It's just like a teeny tiny bit off. Just remember that every time you get one, it's a little bit off. Note how it was off and then go ahead and fix it the next time. A lot of people are off in the same spot over and over and over again. All right, that's tamping. It's one of the espresso fundamentals. You asked for it and there it is. Just remember the basic rules. You wanna be perfectly level from start to finish, you wanna use adequate pressure. You wanna hold the tamper comfortably and naturally, just like a doorknob. No kinks or bends in your arm or wrist or anything like that. Hip up to the counter, take it slow, slow, slow at first and just build that precision over time. You'll be tamping like a champ in no time. All right, y'all, keep it real out there and stay dialed. Peace.